Welcome to our new course on basics of earthquake engineering, seismology, and seismic risk. In this course, I will explain basics of seismology, which I will talk about earth structure, layers, and how earthquake originates and develops. In the earthquake engineering section, I will discuss more about the key parameters used in earth structural seismic design and different methods of seismic analysis. Finally, in the seismic risk section, I will talk about seismic risk parameters and also effect of earthquake on a built environment and how to perform mitigation measures. To give you an introduction about myself, I'm a professional earthquake risk analyst with more than five years of national and international experience and more than four years of a solid background on structural engineering and analysis. I also have a PhD in earthquake engineering and during my career as a university lecturer, I have taught earthquake engineering to more than 1000 students. I have created this course to give you the skill and knowledge to be prepared for the earthquake engineering design and make yourself familiar with the fundamental of the seismic behavior of the structures. What you will learn in this course. My general approach in this course is to explain some basics and general concept of seismology followed by earthquake engineering and risks. So in the first section, which is seismology, I will cover earth structure, earth layer, plate tectonic, continent movement, fault and fault types, earthquake waves, seismograph, earthquake records, earthquake epicenter and the locations, earthquake scales, wars, seismicity, and finally phenomena during and after the earthquake. In the next section, which is earthquake engineering, I will give you a little bit of introduction and we'll talk about the key seismograph parameters, Gutenberg-Richter law, response spectrum, and seismic analysis methods. We will cover, in, in the, the last section, we will cover all the seismic analysis methods like static analysis, spectrum analysis, and time history analysis. Finally, in the seismic risk section, we will have again a little bit of introduction talking about the seismic risk parameter effect of earthquake on the built environment and the building human and economic effect of earthquake and finally earthquake mitigation measures this course is beneficial for civil and geotechnical engineering students structural and earthquake engineering students graduate engineers and structural engineers ranging from the beginners to intermediate level who would like to refresh their knowledge on seismic designs. By the end of this course, you will learn about the fundamental and detailed mechanism of the earthquake and seismic design. My goal is to add value to my students by conveying my professional and practical experience as well as explaining the theoretical concept behind the design, so please do not hesitate to ask if you have any question through the message box here on Udemy or any other social media links which we have been provided in our page. Also, you will have a lifetime access to the course content, which means you will receive all feature updates and additions free of charge. Thanks for watching and hope to see you inside the course.